Hello everyone and welcome back to more Metro Prime Blind and in this episode we're going to be continuing from where I went last time where I got the wave beam. I almost called it the plasma beam again, my accent. I don't know why I'm more familiar with plasma beam than that. If it does that even exist, I'm not sure but I know the uh, the spacer beam does in Super Metroid which is kind of cool. I believe that was one that went through walls but I might be wrong because I often forget what each beam does really. I mean you should know it by now given the fact I didn't even know this was the wave beam so you know. But anyway, I remember in this place that there was like this purple room that I had to get to, wasn't there? Which I believe, if I remember correctly, was probably... It was in one of these rooms, that's for sure. I'm just trying to remember which one exactly. I think it was probably most likely in that one over there, given the fact that there's like a little, you know, sort of thing all the way over there to the thing that you can't really see. I can see it though, so I might as well just get to it, you know? And I would probably cut towards it, but I don't really see the point, given the fact that it's not really that bad of a journey anymore. And plus, with the high jump boots now, I can easily just get back there and things. I don't know, just after a while, you kind of really get familiar with where you are in, like, Metroid games and stuff, to where it doesn't really become as bad. Honestly, that's what I find anyway. Particularly if you pay really close attention to the map. Like, I will say, though, that if I don't really get any of the map rooms, um, I will probably be a bit lost. But then again, I haven't actually got the map room to Fendrana Drifts. So I don't really know how I'm doing this well or anything, but either way, uh, I'm not really going to complain because, you know what, that just makes it a bit better, doesn't it? Also, now I don't have to bum jump up to this thing anymore, given the fact that I now have the super jump ability. So, that's all fine by me. It, it was kind of cool, though, accessing this area, though, with, like, the bomb jumping tactic. Because bomb jumping, you know, for sequence bacon is always really cool. Although it's very difficult to do, actually, in Super Metroid, because the timing you have to do is even more serious than this. Like, if you thought b bomb jumping, you know, in Metro Prime was quite precise to do. Super Metroid is pretty much on the pinpoint of being precise. And what I mean by that is you literally have to tap it at the right second and look at the placement that she falls in between the bombs in order to do it correctly. I can do it correctly now, but I remember it actually took me a couple of tries in order to do that in the first place. But still. Anyway, let's go see what's through here. I really like this new area that I just found and stuff. I can like now open it with a wave beam. Also, Oh, these things! I was gonna say, I was like, something's attacking me, but I couldn't really tell what, but now I know. <laughs> At least these things, though, are less hassle now that I have this, because, oh uh, boy, I just had to wait for the things in order to get out of the way and stuff like that. I also don't really think that I need to scan every single enemy, but I do like to, because, you know, you might find, like, secret ways to kill it and stuff. You know, like in Zelda, where, like, you know, on ways you kill enemies can be quicker, like, for instance, the Wolfos and stuff like that, if you hit them at the back, they die instantly if you do a jump attack. Whereas if you hit them at the front, you know, you, you don't really do as much damage. Also, this looks like the place where I'm going to get the spider ball technique. At least that's my theory. Anyway, you have to bomb this. Uh, no I don't. Fair enough, fine. <laughs> okay. But it looks like it, because I mean, look, the first thing I see right there is a freaking spider thing. And then I look around and it, it looks kind of... looks rather big in places, doesn't it? Except, if I look at my map and that, there's like a... Um, I think I'm going to have to use my plasma beam for, isn't it? But how do I get up there exactly? Probably just by, like, going up all these platforms and stuff, but still. Oh, uh, boy. I am really freaking enjoying this game so far, though. I absolutely love all of this. Like, the exploration side of things, and I just, um, I don't really regret doing a blind LP of this game, like, at all. So, that's a good thing, really. Um, let's see, though. How exactly am I supposed to get past this bit? Do I need, like, the ice beam for this in order to get up here? That's my theory, anyway. Because, I mean, those things go by pretty fast. Unless maybe, like, I could jump at a right specific time in order to get up there or so. But I don't know, really. Like, per usual, if I spend a while on this, like, I will just cut it ahead. Because, you know, just, like, keeping ahead of the action and stuff. Also, I can't really reach it. Maybe there's another way. Hmm. Let me have a look. So, if I came from this way and stuff, but then again, there was that little thing that I jumped into, but it didn't really do anything. Perhaps, maybe, like, hold on, wait, can I scan this? Uh, I can, okay, let's see, what is this? This slot is inactive, it can be likely to be activated by something nearby. Nearby. Something nearby. Well, I tried doing that, but that didn't really work. Something nearby. Oh, wait, let me just read this again just to be sure, I like to be double certain. Mm-hmm. Something nearby. So, what would something nearby be? Would it be like a switch or something? Is there something I can scan? in order to find out. That is the real question. Um, and the answer? No, it, it doesn't look like it. Unless maybe there's like a little secret thing I have to go to? But then again, 
like, the spider ball is, like, required in order to go up there, isn't it? But surely, like, that should be a quick way around it? Because why else would it give me the wave beam and then suddenly an area that I can, uh, suddenly access it with, you know? I don't know, it just seems a bit strange that way. Um, hmm. There's something nearby. Let me just double look for a second. Mind you, this is water, actually. So maybe, perhaps, I could go underneath? Or... Perhaps? Hmm, let me just scan this. Hold the phone. Oh, this is red! Hold on! A new research engine. Okay, right. This is a standard spinner device. The generator belts um, up the spinner can be activated by rapid rotational force. Use the boost ability of the morph ball when inside the spinner to activate this device. Right, I see. Okay, cool. So I need to hold down the B button in order to activate this, right? So, like this. There we go. Oh, and I just need to keep doing it until it gets down, right? At least that's what I think, anyway. Yeah, there we go. It opens up those, but... What? Um... Okay. It opened up those, but I don't know what they do exactly. I guess they just allow me to go in there? Oh, look, there's the other one. Yeah, there's another one down there that I need to do. Oh, yeah, and that's what I mean by activate my something nearby, doesn't it? Alright, cool, that's fine by me. The longer I hold it, though, the further it goes down, I think? Maybe not. Okay, now two of them are open. And now this glows, which I can now access. Alright, now this is making more sense. Alright, cool. I like that, though, how, like, even though the area isn't that, you think you're gonna spend a while in that. With just careful exploration and just the ability of scanning, like, you seriously have to do a lot of scanning in this, I'm quite surprised. Um, it makes for the best of it. Also, I can't jump for some reason. But I can now, there we go. Let me know. I do find that though really mo I, that at times I honestly do wish I was kind of using like the GameCube controller because one, my motion sensitivity isn't out of range or anything, and two, I can actually jump without any problems. I mean, right now I am shaking the Wii Remote, and it's doing okay at the minute, but most of the time in that sometimes it sometimes works and sometimes it won't. Maybe it's because I'm using a Wii, Wii Motion Plus controller because I'm using the one that I got when I got Skyward Sword with it really. And then again, I'm not too sure. Also, oh, it's timed. Okay, ooh, ouch. <laughs> I really should have kept an eye on that one, but never mind. And these guys as well. <laughs> but let me know, I'm not doing much of stop looking this and am I? Um, uh, let's see though. So there's a door over there, but there's also a missile door over there. Which I kind of want to go to, to be honest. But then again, the missiles one uh, might actually lead me to a boss. So, um, I honestly don't know which one to go for. Missile? Plasma? Or the other thing? But then again, can I actually even reach this one? Let me uh, give it a go. Yeah, I can reach it, I'll be fine. Let me just have a peek inside then, just to see what this is. A save room! I could do that. Okay, nice. Cool. Now, I'm glad I decided to check out that area. At least then I know that it's going to spawn me right here instead of all the way over somewhere else. Um, Probably the blue one, because the plasma one, when I like have it, probably hints at the fact that that's the, you know, the way you're supposed to go and stuff. Also, what? Um, hello? Let's have a look at this. This door has no power. And nearby power can do it, uh, or can do it, I don't even know. Must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. Conduit uh, radiates some heat that is invisible in the normal spectrum. Is it? Okay. Something nearby, huh? Oh, great. I need to go find another one of these stupid things then, yeah? I, I assume, anyway. Unless maybe the actual thing is where I have to go for, like, the plasma beam and stuff. I might as well just go through the plasma beam anyway, given the fact that, you know, it's a plasma beam, sorry, the plasma door. <laughs> because uh, that's where it's required. Also, these things again! Jesus. Okay, that didn't work at all, did it? Well, at least this time I got it down. That's fine with me. <gasps> what in the freaking hell is this thing right here? Jesus Christ, this thing looks absolutely terrifying. And you know what? I'm gonna scan it, because I'm curious. Oh, and I get hit as well. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Pirate. Oh, a pirate. Okay. A pirate. Pirate, sorry. Shadow Pirate. Pirate forces trained and equipped with stealth for operations. A select group of space pirates have access to sophisticated cloaking technology. This gear drains high levels of power, however, forcing them to rely solely on melee weapons in battle. Um, or melee, sorry. I always say melee for some reason. Use enhanced detection gear when fighting these units. Right, okay, well I guess then my only option is to get my sensitivity back for a start, and destroy it. There we go. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> but then again, you are a pirate, and piracy is not allowed. Okay. And I assume this is a boss. Is it? 
Or is this just a place where I have to climb up? What the hell is this thing? That does not look nice. What? Defeat enemies to unlock doors? Oh, okay, it's an enemy rush, is it? That's fine, I don't mind that. As so long as I don't die anyway. I mean, my guess is just to dodge out the way of this guy and then kill him like this. There we go, that seemed to have somewhat worked. Plus, I have like four energy tanks anyway, so hopefully I should be okay. And I can hide behind the pillars to my advantage anyway. What the hell? Oh yeah, I forgot I can like shoot the powerful ones, can't I? But you know what, just shooting you guys around like this appears to work better. Was so, a hello, can I get you from here? I could just jump up like this, surely. I can maybe not. <laughs> I was hoping then I could like sort of uh, hide behind him or so. But you know what, I'm just going to sidestep my way around and then try to get around. Well that was the most easiest thing of all time. <laughs> but then again, like if I had like one energy tank I'd be dead right about now. So I'd have to be a bit more strategic and stuff. But you know what, never mind. And there's like a plasma door up there as well as a blue door. I think I might as well also sometimes have to look at the map normally like this. Does this lead to a save room? The map! I could do with a map of Fendrana Drifts. So that would be nice. Thank you very much. I like how it's in a place like this as well. So nice. <laughs> There's not really much else I have to say, is it? You downloaded the map for this area. Alright, cool. Mm-hmm. And now, let's have a look. This place... I have so much more to go to. My word. Mind you, what? I went for the green one? When was this? Oh yeah, this was earlier, wasn't it? Um, but I can't really remember what I did in there. I think like I went back or so, didn't I? As far as I'm aware, anyway. But I'm kind of curious as to what's up at the top, so I would like to do that first. Given the fact that it looks like a place that I can actually scale up, and the fact that I have like the boots and things. Okay, maybe not. Um, is there like some sort of place that I can go to in order to scale? Like, at all, maybe? Um, actually, hold on, wait, this is a ramp, isn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not gonna work, like, at all. Unless maybe I could scan these. Is that right? What the hell is this? It's a force field accessible only through space pirate bio, um, imaging. Impossible to breach. Really? Oh, okay, cool. Right, um, well then. I guess I've got really, really uh, nothing else to do in this area. Because, I mean, I can't really access this by the looks of it. Unless maybe there's, like, some sort of grapple thing? Let me have a scan about and see how exactly do I get up there in the first place. Um, I suppose like I could jump, but then again, there's like no actual platforms to me to get onto, unless maybe oh, ha <laughs> ha, oops, there's a pathway. I go up this path and it leads me all the way up here. <laughs> well, that's just great. How the hell did I miss that? Also, what? Oh, this stupid thing again, huh? I get it. I swear, like, sometimes the hit detection on these things are really weird. There we go. Now it worked. That's fine. At least I get, um... What? I was hoping that I was going to get a missile out of that, but I guess not. Well, you know what? Never mind. At least I get some energy in that, though, and nearly fill it to, to the max. So I am all down with that. Okay. Also, these things again. Oh, my. Uh, at least, though... The energy and stuff makes it a hell of a lot easier because it means I don't have to do the more full technique of trying to go through them because instead I can now just do this. <laughs> when it eventually blows up, I actually take a whole bunch of hits. Maybe I should do a charge shot. What on earth? Whoa, this place looks interesting, but I kind of want to scan this red thing over here. Okay, access to research lab, Hydra? Granted. Nice, cool. What is there to do though? <gasps> there are things that I need to destroy for a start. <laughs> Without being seen, although even though I've been seen already, so that kind of fails, didn't it? I'd kind of like to turn around though. It's kind of a bit annoying though when I want to turn around in the 360 degrees, given the fact that you know my motion sensitivity just goes all over the place anyway. <laughs> so it means that sometimes I might have to turn around and get my motion sensitivity back in order to defeat things around me, which is kind of a bit of a pain, really. What's the boss? Um, the boss. Sorry, the music changes like every time you fight them as well. It's the Twilight Princess. You know the noise that appears every time you fight something. Or even like in Zelda Wind Waker. You know, I compare this game a lot to Zelda for some reason. And I don't know why, considering they're actually quite different most of the time. Also, yeah, that's something I need to scan on um, purpose and things. But there's also a red thing over here. Hang on, what does this one do? This is a st uh, stasis tank corporation, but currently empty. Okay. What about this other red thing over here? A new pirate data has been okay. Space pirate data. 
Uh, we have codified the newfound energy source as phaso Phazon, sorry, a V-index mutagon of which we have very little reliable data. Indications point to a meteor of unknown origin expelling Phazon into the environment. This material appears to possess the power to mutate organic life forms sufficiently to withstand its poison. These mutations appear promising, with abrupt uh, evolutionary leaps appearing in single generation reproduction. Plans to establish a full science team on Talon are being finalized. I can never tell those signs. I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to it, really. Alright, and more stuff to read. Okay, like. Minor operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be most concentrated. Daily Phazon yields um, have increased 44%, and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of Phazon induced madness have been reported prompting augmented life support regulations in the deep chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, uh, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in the most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery operation is recommended, as the material proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Jesus Christ, that was a freaking tongue twister and a half, wasn't it? So much scientific crap to read. Anyways, right, well, I might as well scan this one over here. Uh, please step into the hologram. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah, this is like an elevator similar to like the first one before. Okay. Cool. The music is actually quite intense here. I wonder what this is actually going to build up to. These guys die by missiles. They do. Nice. I think I remember this actually from Super Metroid because that was the only way you actually had to kill them in the first place. Except, uh, well, it does stuff, I guess. But you know. But I have like 35. I feel like I'm not using my missiles like enough on the enemies. I'm always just seem to be like shooting them for some reason. But you know what, never mind, because it gets them down really quick anyway. And plus then I can just grab their energy. <laughs> you know, different ways of killing them, I guess, depending on how fast they are. Still, my god though, now this is where the action really, really kicks in, isn't it? Oh my god, this thing. Can I actually destroy this with a charge beam now? No, I can't. Well, that's freaking annoying. I have to shoot a missile at it instead. Oh wow, wait, did it actually do it? Because, I mean, I hit it with my beam, but it didn't really do anything much, did it? Oh, actually, yeah, that's another way to get them down. Stun them with my charge beam, and then do that. Also, I guess, that, I guess like, they're all gone now. I almost bit my tongue then. That was weird. Because now it's all quiet for some reason. Um, well then, I guess I'm going into here. But what is here? What? Does thing have to jump up? Is that right? Whoa, that was cool, man. You can jump up the doors. Now, that's pretty cool. Because they had, like, that, you know, Super Metroid and stuff as well, where you shut the doors downwards and falling down them and stuff like that, you know? But let me just try that again for a second on this thing. No, it doesn't appear to do much, like, at all. So I guess the only way to destroy it, then, is with this. Yeah, that seems to be the only way, which is a real shame, but never mind, at least it gets some use out of my missiles, then. Plus, I keep forgetting I can sidestep past this thing. Will you just blow up? There we go, fine. I always have a hard time in these things for some reason. Oh, great. Now there's another one. Oh, come on. I, I swear I, like, hit that. At least I can tell, though, by the red. I kind of need to pay a bit more attention to the red side of things. Right, cool. So, what is there left? Oh, my, there's more of you guys, I see. That's fine. It's a really I should have charged, but I honestly did not see any of you coming, so how was I supposed to know that exactly? Okay, I want to stun you and then hit you with my missile. There we go. That tactic appears to work pretty well. So let's see, can I get you from here? I can, and find my missile. Boom. That gets you down nice and easily, doesn't it? Oh, and there's you as well. Right, so, as per usual, there we go. Also, <laughs> there's that one over here. You know what, this makes this a hell of a lot more easier, doesn't it? Because then I can just kill them in two hits. So, uh, what's going on now? Nice. I seem to be doing a bit better this time around. <laughs> then again, how far am I actually into the game? Because I looked up online, like, you know, how long games are, because that's something I'll do, and I was really freaking shocked at how long Persona 4 was. Why, why am I even going over here? I don't know. But, you know, Persona 4 is like 60 hours, and that's not even being a completionist or anything. But I've heard, like, this game takes up to, like, what, 13 hours, I think it is? But that's just for normally doing it, and completionist is like 16, as far as I'm aware. Uh, which one? This red one or this red one? Are there any more red ones? Uh, every, I don't know. I'll go for this one. Yeah, it's gonna have stuff for me to read anyway, and I'm quite interested. Okay, Phaser Miley is underway. Several garrisons have been, um, established. Do you mean, like, Mr. Garrison from, like, South Park or something? 
and terraforming of the Chozo Ruins is underway. Security systems are operational, and science team continues to make progress in their biotech research. The Fenjana Drifts have proven to be an optimal location for research headquarters, and soon it will be joined by a fully operational combat base and starport. If command, or command, sorry, predictions are half true, we shall rise to domin, domin, dominance, sorry, in this sector within a d deca cycle. Truly, these are glorious times. Indeed, okay. But before going to the center one, I would uh, want to go for this one right here. I don't know, I just like reading, okay? I think it's nice. <laughs> that was gay. Scans of the spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a Wanderer class planet identified as Talon 5 or something, I don't know. Um, scout uh, reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a land mass at heading mark 40.08.02 returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be of unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently Talon 5, or whatever, appears to be a viable uh, secondary headquarters. I really don't know anything about those symbols with numbers. I always forget them, and I'm so stupid for it. Alright, so, I guess then I might as well scan this and see what it says. Holographic sequence initialized. Holographic? Holographic? Oh. Oh, I see, it's just like, a, <laughs> it's a thing to add to the puzzle. Right, I see, okay. That's kind of cool, though. So then, I must bomb this, if the blooming jumping would work. I mean, hell, man. This is my worst enemy when it comes to this game, the jumping. So then, that's one, and then the second one is over there. Cool. That's fun, I mean. I love the, like, the change of music, though. It's all, like, it's kind of catchy in a way, but like I said... Not really something I'd like listen to, like in my car or so, I guess, because I mean, well, if I listen to this in the car, it'd be a bit strange then, wouldn't you? Um, can I? Yeah, I was gonna say, I was hoping I'd have enough of my altitude in order to reach up there. But luckily I do! So that's my my me. Uh, now what? What on earth is going on? Oh my god, I gotta activate that one down there. Okay. Oh wow, I just fell straight into it, okay. Oh wait, no, I need to do the, um, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I gotta do this, haven't I? I've gotta do the thing. So let's see, that's one. Then I gotta do the second one. Okay, so I gotta do all four of them and stuff. Reminds me of that place that I got to in Space Station Silicon Valley. If any of you have any see, uh, see my blind one-off edition of it and that. It was such a bloody weird game and that. But I remember like this tower and stuff. I had to like activate all these switches that I spent a while on. I don't know. It's weird that at a time like this, I'm thinking of Space Station Silicon Valley. But then again, that's related to space. So that somewhat makes sense, I guess. Is that Metroid is nowhere near as weird as that. What the hell? This is like freaking treasure planet right here. My god. That's a really underappreciated film, by the way. And there's a thing that I can get. Okay. Yeah, it does remind me, though. You know, like the little ball that Jim gets in Treasure Planet. I don't know, man. <laughs> cool. So. Hmm. I need to... Oh. I just, like, need to scale my way up there, right? Uh, I think so, anyway. Because I somehow need to get all the way up there. Which is, uh, well, actually pretty easy. Because <laughs> I can just do it like this, can't I? I can scale all the way up like this, and then find it all the way there. And also, uh, that appears to be the way out anyway. So then, what am I actually going to acquire with this? It is... A different beam by the looks of it. But what one exactly? It is indeed the... Oh, it's a super missile. My super missiles! They finally come into play! In Super Metroid, it was pretty early and stuff. This powerful attack uses five missiles! Jesus. Using the power beam, press and hold A to charge, then press down to fire. Oh! Okay, that's how you do it. That's actually not that complicated to understand. But I kind of want to go this way because I believe in here is going to be a convenient save room, perhaps? Yes, indeed. And I reckon, honestly, this is a good time to end the episode off or so. So, in the next episode of Metroid Prime uh, Trilogy, actually, I might as well say, I guess, but even though this is Metroid Prime, We'll be going through that plasma beam door over there. There's not much else that I'm going to expect or so, other than the fact of backtracking and maybe... Ooh. Never mind, we're going to go follow this blue path down here and see where it takes us. But then again, I might as well backtrack sometime and then go through that, like, a little thing up there with the spider ball. Maybe this is where I'm going to get the spider ball in the next episode. I don't know. Anyway, take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in more Metro Prime. Uh, coming up next, obviously.